The Steel City might be most associated with its legendary NFL franchise, but people here in Pittsburgh know that the ties to the Panthers run deep. Glad to have you with us here at AccraSure Stadium, home to the Pittsburgh Panthers. We're really looking forward to this matchup. You've got a team that's made its way into the top 25, now trying to pass an all-important road test. As we'll see, the number 23 team in the country, the California Golden Bears, taking on a squad hoping to prevent another L this week, the Pittsburgh Panthers. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Davis. Looks like he's going to try to return it. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. So California's offense takes the field to start this game off. And here comes this quarterback. This entire offense is built around him. He is the engine of the entire team. I mean, he's the leader. He's the alpha. Everybody looks towards him. He's been doing it all year long. Everybody believes in this young man. Big opportunity, big stage. The Golden Bears moving quickly to the line. Listen, I know there are a lot of DBs out there that all they want to do is get interceptions and dance in the end zone. This dude likes to put his face in the fan, get close to the line of scrimmage, and tackle. And on the opening drive, if he's out there, he gets a huge tackle for loss early. That is a statement play. I'm a big believer in taking shots early in the game and being aggressive and showing my team I got confidence in him. Let's go make plays. First drive, already taking shots down the field. Nice job, nice pitch, nice catch. And he gets a big chunk of yardage to the 34-yard line. Off play action on first down. Quickly complete. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. This offense has a second down play. Really important for a ranked team going into a hostile environment like this one not to give the underdog reason to believe. Yes, reason to believe, and don't give the fans reason to get jacked up and excited. Come out early, be in a business mode mindset. You gotta start fast, you gotta have a sense of urgency. You cannot come sleepwalking into an environment like this because if you do and you make some mistakes, this crowd will pounce on you and seize momentum. Quick talk. He's out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for the first down. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. And the Golden Bears have it with a first and ten. They're getting this guy lathered up. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Out of the gun, the give to the back. Did everything he could to discard the tacklers, but he was just able to get back to where he started. Well, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Quick pass to the left, trying to get it to the marker. And he'll take it in and house it. Touchdown, goal! Well, you know this offensive coordinator scripts his opening 10, 15 plays, and he didn't even need that. They went nine plays and scored a touchdown, everything working perfectly. They look like a well-oiled machine early in this game offensively. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point makes it 7 0. So a scoring drive there of 83 yards. And they finish it with an 11 yard touchdown dart. From inside the 10, here he comes. He only needs a sliver of daylight. And the return man showing great vision to be able to find some space and put his team in much better field position. So Pittsburgh's offense will get the ball for the first time. 
And what a great matchup we have of two highly productive runners, David. And I like the competition aspect of this, Reese. Like, I'm watching what you're doing on the other side, and I'm going to prove I'm a better running back than you. Both these guys are looking to be the man today. And both guys can go the distance, right? These two running backs seem to get better as the game goes on. So which defense can be more physical? Step up and at least slow the other guy down. They stop him almost immediately. Short game there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. On third and short, they keep it on the ground here. He'll have enough for the first down, and they stop him at the 45. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. He'll do it himself. Shows him the stiff arm. And I think they'll give him two on that one. Second and eight coming up. Tried to pound it on first down. Now back to the line. Looking downfield, it's Holstein. Quick strike complete. Good pick up there. They'll move the chains in their sub at the 41. And the Panthers are flying down the field. Red pass, it's complete. Across the 25, he's got room. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pick up on that play. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play, and you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. Not a lot of room down here. He's able to pick up two. It's down at the 12. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. He's got it and still on his feet. They go up top to get it down to the five-yard line as they try to pay off this drive. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down, they can't pick up the first without scoring. And it's incomplete as he was trying to finish the drive with the score. And on fourth down, here comes the field goal unit. And he'll try it from the right. Hash and the angle shouldn't be too bad from this distance. It's good. to kick it off after that last drive put a three spot on the board and now the defense will try to shut him down here he comes from inside his own five nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22 Cal gets it back the sturdy golden bear offense on its way to the field just missed on the connection incomplete after missing the connection last time it's second and ten from the 22 Back to pass, it's Rodgers. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. The Golden Bears come to the line in the hurry up. They're going to try to throw for it on third down. Dances away from the heat. Trying to make magic on the scramble. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. Man, this is an offense that's going to find a way to generate explosive plays because of their playmakers at the skill spots. But how about the speed by this guy and his ability on third down to extend, scramble, and go get a big pickup in chunk yards for his offense? No huddle here for the offense. Lost to fire on second down. Quickly to the tight end. Brought down at the 39 after a pickup of 10. It'll be a first down. And the Golden Bears come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Gets it out fast. What well, we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved, get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into a win. Is out a couple of yards down to the 32. They've been able to control the ball. This is the seventh play of the drive. It's third and three. 
looking to throw for it. He's moving out of the pocket. Picks up the first down, gets down to avoid contact. The Golden Bears are in the red zone. Trying to cap this drive with the pass. Grab behind the line. It's Ox. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse. Losing yardage on that play. The give to the back. Stop is made, but he picks up four yards down to the 21-yard line. They'll snap it for the 10th time on this drive, but they need a chunk on third and long. Scrambling away. Trying to make magic with his feet. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. On the doorstep of cashing it in for the offense. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Cow! And the running back was not going to be denied on that play. He had a hole. He saw it. He put his foot in the ground. And that was Pater. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point makes it 14-3. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Two very different emotions inside the locker rooms of these teams who did battle today. Vanderbilt opened up a can. And how many times can you say you went into someone else's building and beat them by double digits? It's what happened today, and the rest of college football should take notice. A lot to go through in the film session this week for both teams. But, boy, it sure is going to be easier for the side that came away with the win. Yeah, how about that? Sounds as if they had a good ball game there. Kevin, thanks for the update. Well, the quarterback can make a big play when he starts moving around. Able to get just a few before sliding to avoid the hit. Here on third down. They'll try to get it through the air. Caught in the backfield. It's Hammond. Really strong job by the defense. A negative play on third down. Pitt will have to boot this one away. Takes it on the return. And the coverage team able to make the tackle. The Cal offense is headed back onto the field. If you like old-fashioned, grinded up, run over in football, that last touchdown drive was for you, Jesse. That was impressive, man. Great blocking up front and tough physical running by these ball carriers. And now you wonder how the defense responds. Like, are they going to get way more aggressive to try to stop the run? I got to do something to break the rhythm of that running game. Well, Jet Sweep pass. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. As they get set to snap it, time winding down here in the quarter. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. He'll try to do it himself. Still on his feet at the 45. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. That's the end of the period, and Cal is on top. Man, that was an impressive and dominant first quarter. Let's take a look at the stats before we move on. They'll line up right at the 48-yard line on first and 10. Hand off from the gun. At the 40, there he goes! And this defense's head is spinning. He gets it down to the 27. And the Golden Bears will hustle to the line. Yeah, defensively, you better be ready to run east and west when you're playing against this offense in their running game. That time, the offense was able to outflank the defense to the right side for a big play. On the run, and he'll slide to avoid the big hit. The Golden Bears have pushed it inside the 20. Looking to throw, it's Rodgers. Gets open down the middle. Dances away from one. Defense is there to make the stop, but he's got the first down, and they'll have it first and goal with the six. First and goal, 
Out of the gun. The inside looking for a crease. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. Farrell's ahead. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Golden Bears! No midseason concentration laps here in Week 7 as they push out that lead. Look, it's still early, but we have some real distance being put on the scoreboard right now. You do. It's early, but you got to find something positive. Right now, everything going in the other direction. So how are you going to respond when you've been hitting the mouth early in this football game? Got to find something positive quick. Ready to try the point after. And with the extra point, they're on top by 18. A 69-yard touchdown drive and close the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. Out of the end zone. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Pittsburgh offense is back on the field. This is hardly the start they dreamed of, down 21-3. But get a touchdown here, and you feel like you're back in it, Jesse. Yeah, and it's frustrating for this offense as well because they've got the horses. They've got playmakers to light this scoreboard up much more than the three points we're seeing here. I think you just got to stay true to yourself, do you, David, and know that the points are going to come. Well, it's also frustrating when the defense is giving up points almost every single possession. So they, they need to score here and take this down and have a good drive, and then the defense needs to pull their weight a little bit too. Leaves it with the back. Just couldn't get away from the tackle. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Dropping back. It's Holstein. Makes the grab over the middle. The defense wouldn't let him loose. And even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. They've made third down offense a key. It'll be tested on third and long from the 28. Still looking on the move. They finally get him on the ground with a big running play moves to change for the first down. The Panthers racing to the line in the hurry up. These guys aren't human anymore. I mean, they got to survey the field, throw the football, make deep passes, and then guess what else? They pull the ball down, take off, and make big chunks of plays on the ground. It's just impossible to be on defense now. One of the things that makes this guy so dangerous is how good he is after the catch. If he's got any space around him, he's able to burst. He's able to make people miss and get extra yards for his offense. You saw it right there. They've got a solid drive working, but now looking at second and 11. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Pressure coming. And the defense gets to the quarterback. Middle linebackers, the middle linebackers because they're right in the middle of the defense. You put guys that have a nose for the football because they literally line up over the football every single time. They play the run well, and they're like, look at this. How about this? Rushing the quarterback, getting him on the ground, getting the big sack. Pitt will line up to punt it away. In punt formation to kick it away. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. Cal gets it back. The sturdy Golden Bear offense on its way to the field. You want to talk about a drive where you impose your will? That's what they did running it down for a touchdown, David. There is nothing more demoralizing than that for a defense. To be physically pounded. The run is coming. You know it's coming. And you can't stop it. Nothing the defense can do. That is mano y mano up front. And your guys getting the push. They know you're running it. And they still can't stop it. And he's brought to the ground. But not before he gets enough for the first down. Split backs here. Coming out on first down with the play fake. A strike downfield. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. Scanning the field, it's Rodgers. He makes the connection. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. Gets it out quickly. At the 35, he's got room. 
He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. And a first down for the offense. He'll pull it on the read. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. And that's good enough for a first down. On the move, it's Ott. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. He wants it all. It's incomplete. He was shooting for the end zone right there. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Quarterback doing what he does best. He can move. The freshman able to get home with the sack. You want to change some of this bad luck you've had so far around? Get after the quarterback and get his butt on the ground. Nice job by the defense. This game ain't over. It's still the first half. This is a good start. They'll try to salvage a field goal on this drive. He'll try to knock it through from 38 yards out. Right down the boulevard. It's good. And they'll push that lead out a little further. And this guy has been a machine all season long. He is absolutely automatic. You know you're getting three points when this guy jogs on the field. They keep pushing that Number lead nine, out, and the kickoff team's getting some work. On the move from inside is five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The pit offense back on the field and ready to roll. Trailing by three touchdowns. If you're going to get back in it, David, the time to start is right now. Got to start now. Defense giving up points on that last possession. Again, the offense is going to have to score. And Jesse probably score pretty quick. Yeah, you got to go tempo. You're going to have to try to fit in as many plays as you can throughout the rest of this game. But I think more than that, you've got to eliminate the negative plays. No more penalties and no more turnovers. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. And it slips through his fingers, incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Makes a move. Looking for running room, he'll get it to the 43-yard line before he stops. So the first play of the drive will come from the 43. He wants to throw. He's got it. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. As we reach the two-minute warning, they'll need to try to get a stop to keep this thing from getting out of hand. Looking downfield, it's Rodgers. And he can't connect on the throw. It's incomplete. Couldn't find his man last time, and that leaves him with a third and six. From the gun, wants to pass. Keeps looking downfield. He'll try to do it himself. And he scoots his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. And the Golden Bears come to the line with a new set of downs. Fires to the wideout. Got his man downfield. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. Looking to move it through the air. Finds his big tight end. Well, this tight end, he's got size and he's got some athleticism. He's very difficult to cover one-on-one. -on -one. Defense is going to have their hands full with him today. Finds his man. It's Ott. And the completion gives him a fresh set of downs and keeps this drive moving. The offense wastes no time getting the timeout call. Now on first and goal, a score here, and that mountain is huge if you want to make a comeback. And the defense stuffs the run, and the ball will remain at the two. And the D deny them on second and goal. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, K. 
cow. Another rushing touchdown. That's now two on the game. This offense thought they could come into this one running the ball, being the more physical team, and they look like it right now. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? All right, guys, want to update you on a game that went final moments ago. Arkansas State looked like a program ready to take the next step after a big road win today. This was a complete team effort from the Red Bulls. Offense, defense, and special teams doing its part. Impressive, to say the least. The circle of life in college football, where one team moves on feeling like kings, and the other heads home licking its wounds. And Kevin Connors keeping an eye on everything all over the country. Sounds like they had a good one there. Moves around to clear up the vision. And the ball's out there after it. Everybody needs a little luck, and the offense just got it by falling on that fumble. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Running out of time here in the first half, they're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. So the officials take a closer look, and the replay booth will overturn the call. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. Coming after it. Just gets rid of the football. Nobody to throw it to. It'll be second down. Just enough time for one final play in this half. Right back to the air on second and ten. Throws toward the end zone. The pass falls incomplete, and that's how we'll finish this half. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Fellas, you've been calling a first-rate game so far today in Pittsburgh. Talk about a first half from that dude out of the backfield. He's been a total game changer. And how many top plays moments have we seen on missed tackles alone? Video game moves from one of the shiftiest players in all of college football. And with that, let's send it back to the guys on the north side of Pittsburgh. The Golden Bears will kick it off to start the second half. He'll start the return inside his five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. The Pittsburgh offense is back on the field. Got blown out in the first half and now just desperate to find anything to generate momentum here in the third quarter. It just starts with one play, though. Just need one thing to go right for this offense to start to build that momentum, and then that becomes infectious for the defense, for special teams. Everything can change. It just takes one play. It really can, and it's so strange, and you can't quantify it, and I don't know how to describe it as a coach or as a player, but you got to make something happen, and it's got to start on this job. On third down, he drops to throw. Starting to feel a little pressure. Trying to escape and get it himself. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Looking for room. It's Hammond. Hey, midfield, he's got room. And how about that? What the doctor always ordered. An explosive play to the 40. Man, I want to be a running back in this offense. When you take that hand off to the right and you see that blocking and all the holes open up, that's a good sight for a running back. You've heard of read and react. I think the defense read it. They just didn't react very well. well when you got that kind of a line, just all that push they're getting on that right side, and they just pushed the defensive lineman back, got in the linebacker's laps, and man, oh, man, it was, it was brutal up front. Got it set up on the outside. And that one looked great on the grease board, but when they blow it up like that, the defense is going to win every time. Back to throw, it's Holstein. Using his feet to buy time. The quarterback scrambled around, but the defense able to scramble him and turn it into a sack. Yeah, and the defensive line, you know, third and long situations, I'm rushing the quarterback. You bring in the nickel, a little bit more speed on the field, and the defensive line gets home and gets the sack on third down. 
Pitt will have to boot Number this one away. One. He's getting plenty of work. Fourth time we've seen this guy punt it today. The punt goes out of bounds and a nice job to get them backed up. I think they'll spot it right around the 15. The Cal offense is headed back onto the field. He wants to start this drive with a pass. Pulls it in. It's up. And they pick up just a few on that completion. Second and eight from the 16. Second down. The give from the gun. Keeps the legs moving. They shut it down quickly, but he gets two out to the 18. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? From the gun, wants to pass. Getting some heat. Oh, he's going backwards in trouble and down he goes. A tremendous loss. And the Golden Bears decide to punt it away. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. On the return, it's got. And the punt team gets down there and gets the return man on the ground. Excellent field position here for the offense. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. He's got the tight end. Running with power. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. That's a Panther first down. They run the reverse. And a good solid pickup there before the defense knocks him down. Pittsburgh trying to put a touchdown on the board in this red zone trip. Dropping back, it's Holstein. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. That last incomplete pass has him staring at a third and three. On third and short, they'll try to throw for it. And he can't find a receiver, and down he goes. That defender is a matchup nightmare for any offensive lineman to block. He's got athleticism, he's got length. He's got flexibility. He put it all on display on that sack. And here comes the field goal unit for the second time tonight. Never a doubt. Right down the middle. Kick it away and rely on their defense. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. Quarterback now breaking the field. He's going to be able to pick up a few yards before the slide. And now on second down for this offense. Running behind that left side. Tackle is made after the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. To the ground. He's got it again. At the 45 on his way. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. The Golden Bears come to the line with a fresh set of downs. The run from the shotgun. Still running at the 40. He's off to the races. And chunk plays are the name of the game. And they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. From the gun, they'll try the middle. They pull him down at the 17 after a pickup of three. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. To the air, it's Rodgers. Bought a little time, lets it go. Touchdown, Golden Bears! And the beatdown has ensued. 
offense gets the job done again. You want to build that cushion as we get deeper into the second half. Man, it makes it easy, doesn't it? You start getting up by a couple possessions, making the offense very predictable on the other side. Great job by the offense extending their lead. On to attempt the try. The kicker is on for the extra point. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. 38, hit 6. On the run from inside his own 5. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The pit offense back on the field and ready to roll. Off the play fake on first down. He's going to run it. At the 35, he's loose. A really nice run and gain, and he gets down to avoid taking punishment. And you're seeing here the difficulties defenses have trying to contain this guy. If you leave a lane open or you don't sack him right away, you allow him to get outside the pocket, he is going to take off, and he is very difficult to tackle in the open field. He's got running back-like ability out in space. Got three on first down at second and seven. That's caught. It's Muffield. And good coverage by the defense. Just a short game. They've already punted four times in this game, and they're about to run the guy out there for a fifth time if they don't pick up the first down here. He's going to throw deep right side. Can't make the play on the interception, and, man, they were looking for their first pick of the game. Instead, it'll be fourth down. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. Cal gets it back. The sturdy Golden Bear offense on its way to the field. How about that blocking up front in that running game last time as they just walked it down for a touchdown, David? And the big boys up front doing their job. Opening holes, the backs making plays, everything on the ground on that first drive worked. And we know that this is the identity this coaching staff wants for this team, right? They want to be the most physical team on the field. Let's see if they can keep it up. That's the end of the period, and Cal is on top. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. Will the beatdown continue, or is this a comeback for the ages in store? We'll see as we start the fourth. Running back searching for a hole. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. And that's good enough for a first down. They're going to go right back to him on first down. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Out of the gun, the inside give. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. Now facing a third and long. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. Feeling some heat. And the freshman will chalk up a sack. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. And the Golden Bears will punt this one away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Boy, they had a chance to track that thing down, but it bounces into the end zone for a touchback. The Pittsburgh offense is back on the field. Wants to throw on first down. On the run, fires downfield. They've avoided the interception all day, but they're lucky to get that one back here late. It'll be second down. After the incompletion, back to the passing game. Flushed out of the pocket. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Caught behind the line. It's Muckfield. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. Unloads to the wideout. Makes the grab, and it's plenty for the first down. 
The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game. But trust me, his coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. It's just so nice to have a QB under center nowadays in football. You can trust these guys. You put so much on their plate, and you tell them, go get positive yards when it's there. And a lot of these guys are such great athletes, they do it with ease. The sure hands, it's Johnson. No way to move! He'll work his way down to the 28. This pit offense has been clicking on this drive. Give to the running back. Nice move to pick up yardage. And it is a good idea to gang tackle. First guy couldn't get him, second guy finally did. From the red zone, looking for a receiver. He's got it on the run. They stop him just short of the first down, but it will be second and inches coming up. And they'll come to the line just needing a few chain links for a first down. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Pitt. In a lot of losses, you just want to burn the tape. You don't want to watch it. But I think there are some things that they can take into next week from this performance. No doubt. Offense is about finding your rhythm, finding your groove, what you do well. And you can tell, at least now, starting to get a little something, something going. And maybe you can do it. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Fellas, I think at least a portion of your audience will have an interest in the one that just finished up. Clemson made it look easy, but I promise you, there is nothing easy about a double-digit win on the road. And a win like this only confirms there is something special brewing with these Tigers. 60 minutes of football and a convincing outcome, and certainly a game with implications far beyond just the standings, fellas. Kevin, thanks a lot for that one. Talk as if they had a good one there. They'll put the tight end in motion. Looking for space, it's Thomas. Forges ahead, picks up about three to the 29. The ball spotted at the 29, here they come on third and short. Can't connect on his first throw. And after that, best thing you can do, run it away. Here comes the special teams. On the return, it's gone. Slips through the line. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the puck return. They'll start this drive with a pass. Throws to the wideout. Tremendous awareness along the sideline and the ability to get the foot down for the big pickup. Off the play fake on first down to throw. The quarterback bought as much time as he could, but the defense got to him and sacked him. They'll try to keep that sack from wrecking this drive here on second and 15. They're trying to get to him. Open space at the 25. Any way you can in your freshman season at quarterback, and he gets it done on the ground. Pitt coming to the line after getting another first down. Leaves it with the back. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. Right back to the well. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. Defense is backed up. Shadow of the goalpost trying to defend their own end zone. Moving away from pressure. And he sprints to the end zone. Touchdown, Panthers! That's the kind of skill that makes guys stars. The improvisational skills, the blinding speed, the ability to make the big play and make defenses look silly. Just straight silly. I mean, what do you want me to do? You put a guy that, that, that athletic, that fast, at the quarterback spot, now you're telling me to defend the run, defend the pass, Defend the scrambles. I mean, goodness gracious. I don't, I don't know what you want a defense to do. There's no stopping that guy. And he tacked on the extra point. So that scoring drive took only six plays. The deficit is huge. This one is all but over. They'll keep trying and line up for the onside kick. 
cool as a cucumber as the hands team makes a sure catch. The Cal offense is headed back onto the field. After a punt on their last possession, they are set up in plus territory this time. And honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if they scored a touchdown their last possession. You've got to be able to turn the page and see this is a brand new opportunity to go get points. Yeah, and your defense has set you up for the position to get points right away. Now, let's get this offense back rolling again, create some momentum, just get a few first downs and I'm in scoring position. And a decent game there before the defense makes a stop. We've reached a two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. He'll pitch it. He steps out of bounds, but he's got a first down on the play. Hold it. Hold it. Up and up and just an obvious holding call there, and one that just kills an offense's momentum. They'll run it, trying to drain time off the clock. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. The Golden Bears line up to punt it away. And that one will sail out of bounds. No chance for a return there. First down here for the offense. He's going to pass. Grabbed in the middle, it's Reynolds. The offense will have to use its first timeout of the half. Now from the 40, it's first and 10. He's looking to throw it. They'll run the screen. And it's pretty obvious there was a big hole in that screen, and the defense ran right through it. Now they've got to hustle to the line and get set. Pocket starts to collapse. He's going to take off. A strong tackle and wrap-up from the junior. Pitt pushing the pace. Back to pass. It's Holstein. Trying to get to it. He'll just throw it away, and it'll be fourth down. No hesitation at all. The offense stays on the field. They'll go for it. He's taking a deep shot. And it's in. Complete the long pass on fourth down is to no avail. So with the late lead, they're ready to just drain the clock in victory formation. They can stop the clock a couple more times, and they need to get it back fast, down two possessions as the clock keeps winding down. Sometimes it's just not your day. Things just didn't work, and that seemed to be the case here. Yeah, they, they didn't get the W. They didn't do enough. Um, but now you start to think about what could I have done differently? What do I need to become more offensively? Defensively, what can I morph into to make those extra plays, Jesse? That might be the difference in the next game that I play. Yeah, David, they just need a little bit more. They need a little bit better effort next week. They're going to need better preparation this week in practice. There's no doubt this team has a lot of talent, but we just need a little bit more to ensure that this doesn't happen next week. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.